All right, with us from Boston, college student athletes Thatcher and Teddy, and uh, Coach Jerry York, who will give us a, a quick opening statement, and then uh, we'll take questions for the student athletes. Coach. I used to be a student athlete. It was <laughs> quite by quick, I guess, huh? Uh, you know, I'm very, so excited, uh, you know, but before I talk about the game and stuff, just, and I've said this before because we've been at Worcester a number of times, I think the combination of uh, the facility, uh, the Holy Cross, uh, how they just take over the, the tournament and really uh, add something to it, uh, the details are done so well. Uh, I think Sandy and the crew at the DCU Center has been, uh, they run a first class operation. And we've been here a number of times and it's, it's always the same feeling that uh, we're gonna come to Worcester, we know we're gonna be treated very well. We know it's, uh, it's gonna be a popular uh, spot for people to come. Uh, the Crusaders have, have treated, like I said, very, very well. And it's just, uh, and I've been to a lot of, for, a lot of our regionals over the years and this certainly is one that I've got to consider the, one of the top venues uh, and places to go. So hats off to the city of Worcester, the DCU Center, and, and all the people from Holy Cross. Uh, but our, our team, we're, we're so excited. Uh, you know, the Frozen Four is, a, is an objective for us. Uh, every year we're at, when I've been at BC, I've always thought, let's, let's get to that Frozen Four. And the more you, more you get there, the more opportunities you have to collect some hardware. And, uh, you know, you can't, it's hard to go once and win it, it's hard to go twice and win it twice, but you start going a number of times, you're gonna, you're gonna win a lot of trophies. And, you know, we've always had, a, had excellent teams, excellent players to bring with us to the, the regionals to get us to the Frozen Four, and this year's uh, is just the same. I think we've got a whole locker, locker room full of guys that uh, play hockey the right way, uh, very talented, very skilled, hard-working uh, club. And, uh, you know, they, you don't have to win every game, but you have to win the, the right games as you go through here. And this certainly was the right game for us tonight. I thought Duluth was outstanding. Uh, Scotty Sandlin's done a terrific job with the program. I remember I went there about, oh, maybe 10 years ago, and uh, they were a shell of what they are now. And I remember going to pizza afterwards with Scott, and, and he was telling me about his plans for Duluth. And, you know, uh, it just seemed so hard then. But he's had a national championship there with Duluth, and he's had teams like tonight that are, are, you know, some of the best in college hockey. So uh, for us to get to Tampa, we had to go through, like I said, a, a very well coached, uh, a lot of good players in that team. So I'm very proud of what's happened. Thank you, Coach. We'll take questions for the student athletes. Uh, let's go right here, please. Uh, for Thatcher, what did you see on that final sequence? It seemed like maybe a teammate stick came in and, and cleared that puck <coughs> out. You may have been able to get the glove down. What was sort of your read on what was going on from you know the bird's eye view? Yeah, um, I haven't been able to watch the uh, the replay of it, but uh, it kind of went by really quick. I know you know the puck was shot um, and it hit our defenseman in front and kind of bounced right right near the goal line there, and I kind of just dove back. And I might have gotten a piece of it, and then I think uh, Austin Cangelosi came down and uh, swatted it away before any uh, Duluth players could get a stick on it. So it was probably you know inches, centimeters away from from making it over the line. Um, but all the guys came back and made sure that didn't. So it's a big play for us. Rich, and then there. we'll go with Rich right here first. Thank you. All right, Rich Thompson, Boston Herald. Just talk, Teddy, just talk about the plays that Gilmore and Callanan made that uh, allowed you to finish those two plays. Yeah, um, obviously our forecheck was a point of emphasis tonight. Uh, get in on their bigger D and, and make the make plays. Um, Gilmore made a heck of a play between his legs, and I just tried to put it on net, and luckily went in. Um, Callanan was the lone guy in the forecheck, and uh, you know I didn't really think, I think he threw it in front and then kind of just hit off the tip of my skate there and went in. Um, but... You know, the four check was good tonight. Uh, I think it was a little better than it was last night. So uh, it was great to uh, great to get that going. We'll go right here. Then. Uh, for you guys Teddy. are allowed to smile, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a little tired. <laughs> uh, for Teddy, it seemed like it was a little hectic there. When you guys go to the review, did they communicate to you guys what, what it exactly was they were they were looking at? Yeah, they were pretty clear about it. Um, they just said if, 
if it's not a goal, the game's over. If uh, if it is a goal, that the time would go back on the clock. I actually just watched a replay, and it's way closer than people thought it was. It's it was right there. Uh, kid had a golden chance at it. So credit to Kanch for uh, to getting the puck out. Right here. Teddy, as a senior captain who switched from defenseman to forward uh, last season throughout this year, what does it mean for you to get uh, two goals in this game? Uh, uh, that's It's great, but I really wanted to go to Tampa. I mean, uh, just to extend the season by two weeks, being able to practice at Conti Forum again is um, something that I value way more than the two goals. Um, maybe in a few years I'll look back at it, but right now in the moment, uh, getting to Tampa was the team's main object objective since day one, and um, luckily we get to practice at Conti for another week and a half here. Right, right here. Teddy, they, they played a pretty physical game last night and got somewhat chippy with their opponent. They played a very physical game with you guys tonight and got a little chippy. Was there talk among the players about not getting baited into anything, about you know obviously trying to stay out of the box, that kind of thing? Yeah, for sure. Um, the NCHC is a, a very physical league, and, and we expected that coming into the game. Um, that being said, we're, we weren't going to back down from anything. Uh, you know, if it got chippy, we were going to get chippy back. And I, I think we did a good job not retaliating tonight, maybe a, a penalty or two. But um, we did a good job uh, matching their physicality, and, and that was big for us. Right here up front. Uh, Teddy, as a leader on this team, how important is it to you as captain to get back uh, to the Frozen Four? Yeah, it's everything. Um, you know, you go to day one, there's a million thoughts in your head, and but you got to focus on the moment. Um, coming into this weekend, we had a lot of believability within our team. Um, we got the best goalie in the country for sure, and um, with that, anything can happen. And uh, I'm so proud of our team. I'm so proud of uh, the upperclassmen to, for getting us through this. And, um, you know, it's going to be another great experience going down to Florida. Question right here, guys. Teddy, obviously you said that going back and practicing at Connie is more important than the two goals, but being a Massachusetts kid, coming here to Boston College, and this being potentially one of your last games, at least in a Boston College uniform in the state of Massachusetts, how important was it for you to go out on top? Yeah, you definitely think about it. Um, but, you know, the, the guys rallied around me, and they made sure it wasn't going to be the last game uh, for us. And, you know, like I said, I'm very proud of the team, and um, we're really excited to get down to Tampa. Question here. Thatcher, Dave Hendrickson, U.S. College Hockey Online. Can you just talk about uh, Teddy's ability to go and just fill in whatever role he's been expected to go and play this year? In particular, as a captain, he can go and have the credibility to tell the rest of the team, hey, you've got to sacrifice for the team. I'm doing whatever's necessary. You need to, too. Yeah, I think that's probably Teddy's best attribute for sure. Um, he just He's a team first guy. There's There's no doubt about that. Whatever coach wants him to do, he's going to do it. Uh, like he said earlier in this press conference, like he doesn't care about the two goals. He just wants to get to Tampa, and that couldn't be more true uh, just through his actions. And like you said, he's a huge leader for us. He just leads by example, and uh, the guys really look up to him. And, you know, he kind of sets the tone for our team. Any last questions for the student athletes? Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Thanks a lot, guys. The hat games. I love the hat love games, hat yeah. Games. All right, questions for Coach? Uh, let's go Rich. He's right to up front here. Where's my microphone? Oh, yeah, sorry. I had to let the guys clear out. Hi, Jerry. Rich Thompson, Boston Herald. Just to go back what Teddy said about the forecheck, was that a point of emphasis in the morning skate and what you were worried about from this team? Well, I thought their forecheck uh, gave us a lot of problems, Rich. Uh, you know, they hemmed us in and our uh, you know, we, we didn't give up a, a, a lot of chances off their forecheck, but they had possession time, and, and that's very difficult to stay in your end for a long time. Uh, I thought the other end, I thought our forecheck was better tonight than it was uh, last night. Uh, so it's a, you know, these type of games, two good teams, there's going to be ebbs and flows, and there was parts of the game where we were better, the parts of the game where Duluth was better, and uh, but the forechecks for both teams were pretty effective, I thought. Right here, Coach. Coach, uh, after coming up short last year in the first round, how big is it for the program to get back to the Frozen Four? Well, I think it's one of our objectives. And our, you know, we measure our, our team by the number of trophies we win, uh, not necessarily by how many wins we win, but you know, are you successful in the, those trophy games? And uh, now we've got a chance to win another one. And I've always liked the regional games because you get a hat and a T-shirt. You know, uh, I think that's important. Uh, I picked up from Bill Belichick, who's always talking about this is a hat t-shirt game, so we started using that 10 years ago, and uh, we kind of point to those type of hats. But it was, uh, 
it was an interesting game because all of a sudden we're three nothing and you know not coasting, but you know we can see the end and and within a eyelash it changes uh, and it's three two and and now to make it even more interesting they go six on five and we take a penalty and go six on four so uh, it's we had to earn this one. Right there, coach. Jerry, a uh, similar question that I asked Teddy. This was a game against a team that plays a really physical, sometimes chippy kind of uh, kind of game. I didn't think they were chippy at all. I thought they were physical, but I didn't. Think they, I didn't. I didn't we're not classified as chippy. Well, that physicality, at least, you know, some teams yeah. get baited into stuff when that's going on. Was that part of the message at all? Not to not to let that. Well, I think you have to in big games. Are, and you know, we've we've taken a lot of penalties this, this year during the course of the season, and we've always tried to stress the fact that, you know, our Less penalties, better chance you have of winning the game. Good goaltending, special teams are important. And uh, so I think we're going to get four penalties, and uh, that, that's pretty good. We'll go here, and then you guys. Jerry, this was a, a game where, um, you know, you guys were getting out in front of a lot of shots, blocking a lot of shots. And one of the things I noticed last night and tonight was you guys are very vocal uh, when a guy blocks a shot, yeah. the whole bench is up and cheering. Um, what do you think that comes from? It seems like maybe that's a relatively new thing for BC teams where they're more vocal in their encouragement. Well, I think uh, you know small things win hockey games, and uh, you know we could talk about winning faceoffs uh, as one, but blocking shots is uh, very, very important. And you know it hurts. That the puck is hard, and uh, you know. I think uh, you need encouragement when you block a shot, the whole bench gets excited. It's like a you know, good hard back check. Uh, so things that might not be noticed by uh, stat sheets, uh, you know, it's not a goal, it's not an assist, it's not a, you know, a, a, you know, a highlight real goal, but it's important for us. And, and we did block an awful lot of shots tonight from a lot of different people, and that's important for us. And no broken ankles, which is even more important. Coach right here in front. Coach, last night you said that Ryan Fitzgerald's block shot was the key play of the game. Tonight, another forward, Austin Cangelosi, comes up with a big-time defensive play. What do you think of the overall clutch plays of your uh, forwards, especially on the defensive end? Yeah, that's how uh, that's how you win games. You know, you got to play in crunch time, and you got to make uh, you know what you you call clutch plays. And I thought we uh, we did throughout the lineup tonight. Yeah, we only played ten, probably nine fours the majority of the game. We got a fourth line on a few different times, but. That's a lot of ice time for now with the two minute, you know, uh, timeouts three different times in a period. That certainly helps us. But uh, our, our team responded well. We've got a lot of good players. I, I like this team, uh, talent wise, and I've grown to really like them uh, the way they uh, become part of a team. You know, the, the idea to get the Eagles out of out of the locker room is, is very, very important from my perspective. And I think we we have a lot of good players that you know. Uh, leave that ego behind and they just become eagles and that, that's that's a little thing that's is that i think helps win games up front here and then um coach you kind of mentioned how um duluth kind of came back um late uh, in the third period uh, there's been a couple of games served down the stretch dating back to the vermont series where you guys started out really strong in the game and the the posting team kind of creeps back into the game. Um, is that something that's uh, um, concerning to you, or is that just kind of like one of those things? Um, well, they, they, they never come back. We're playing Watertown High School, you know. But we schedule good teams, and you're playing tournaments, and they're gonna they're gonna you know big they're gonna make plays. They're gonna be good. So not all good players are at BC. There's a lot of other good players, a lot of other good coaches. Right there in the back, coach. Jerry, Dave Hendrickson, U.S. College Hockey Online. Um, can you talk about Teddy's contributions, both as a leader who helps get that ego out of the locker room and also a player you can plug in in so many different positions? Yeah, he's, he's been uh, really a pleasant surprise, Dave, because he hasn't played a ton for us over his career, uh, at least not in key, key situations. And this year, uh, as a captain, he kind of took it upon himself to improve his game in different parts and he helped, uh, he's helped us on defense, helped us a forward. Uh, he's a fiery guy, you know. He's small in stature, but uh, he really is a, a, a dynamite leader for us. Coach, right over here. Jerry, who, regardless of how it turns out tomorrow, you either end up playing Quinnipiac or UMass Lowell in, the frozen, in that first semifinal. Uh, do you like getting to play a somewhat familiar team in, in that first game when you make the big trip out there? 
I just like to be playing. The, you know, that's whoever we play. We play our, our. But you know, we've got a little, a little pride in Hockey East, and uh, you know, we've got one Hockey East team in the Frozen Four now, and uh, certainly it'd be a great boost to our league if we get one more in the Frozen Four. But uh, Lowell's got a very difficult opponent in uh, Quinnipiac. Coach, right here. Um, then, Coach, I don't know if you pay attention to these things, but uh, you guys have had a lot of success uh, in the past couple, past uh, decade or so in Worcester. Um, is that just like one of those things with luck, or is it, do you think there's there has something? Well, I think I, that? I told Rose a little bit uh, earlier that we're 14 and one here now, according to Mr. Majewski. So I'd like to keep on coming back here. I'm available to come to Florida too, Coach. Yes. You want. Uh, one last question here in the second row, Coach. <coughs> Scott McLaughlin, WI.com. Jerry, there's not a ton of carryover from the team that went to the Frozen Four two years ago, but there is some. Um, is there anything you, you can draw from that or anything that you know those guys can teach the rest of the team about uh, going to a Frozen Four? You know, one, of the, uh, one of the real uh, benefits of going to Frozen Fours, and we've had a chance to go to a lot of them, is that uh, there is a carryover. Uh, you know, they just... You get better. You go to big bowl games and football. You, you just get better. More practices, uh, more games under big lights and a big stage. So I think yeah, that, that'll help us for sure. Last question. <clears throat> okay. Thank you very much, Coach. Congratulations. You're welcome.